Hi, I'm Shannon Skinner. Today I'm going to be speaking with an iconic entrepreneur and hairstylist, Mary Trippy, based in Toronto. Mary, thanks so much for being here today. Oh, I'm, the pleasure is mine. Thank it's, you. I'm so thrilled to be interviewing you. Now, I've known yeah. you for years. Um, you've been in business over 50 years, 56 years, I think, to be precise. You've seen a lot of styles come and go, fashion come and go. Over the years, how can you describe the change in terms of hair fashion? It has changed through the years because of lifestyles and because of times. Uh, our times have changed, so our fashion has changed. And I believe that we change everything with the times different challenges we had with the times. In the 60s, uh, we had definite hairstyles. Definite. Like it was a definite um, form to it. And then it evolved. From there, it became a little looser. And the biggest style at that time, it was the flip. It was smooth hair, and a little high on the top, but the bottom was flipped. So that was a very big thing. If a style was out there, people wore that style almost all the time. It was a time that everybody followed the same fashion. After that, we went into curly hair, but it was perm curly hair. From there, we went to very flat, straight hair, which was the time that I was uh, never fond of because I didn't find it flattering for most people. And now we, we are in a very good fashion time for hair. We have been liberated uh, about hair, so people can choose depending on the hair and the face. They can choose styles and textures. So it's, um, it's freedom time right now, and it's soft. Layers uh, hair is uh, amazing because you can do so many things with it. Now you have your, your own business called um, the, private the Private World of Mary Trippy, but it isn't just a, a hair salon. You're a cutting edge hair salon. You've been cutting edge, leading edge uh, in the industry, an industry leader really from, from, the, from beginning. the beginning. From the beginning. Um, you've won a number of awards. Yes. What's the secret to keeping going? How do you do it? I love what I'm doing. I was just saying, I was in a seminar and I realized how happy I am every day because I go to the salon. Because every person that we do or I do is happy. So, and they're happy to be there. So I get that feedback from almost everybody and every day. That's amazing and I will never give that up. Well, I have people that I have cut from the beginning that I started, that I have mm -hmm. like three or four generations of families. Great grandchildren come, the granddaughters come, the grandsons come, they come. So it's, it's wonderful to see all that. Now you were born and raised in Greece. In Greece. You uh, learned the trade uh, mm -hmm. of hairstyling in Greece when you were 15, 14, 14, 14 yes. and you came to Canada at the age of 17, si 17. and then you quickly uh, found a job and then yes. soon thereafter started your own business at 19. Was 19. that scary? No. You came actually to, from Greece to Canada by yourself? Uh, yeah, but I had family here. Mm -hmm. I had, when I say family, it was my sister and my brother here. Right. So in a, in a way, when I came here, I found um, um, people that I... I became friends with right away. So it wasn't like this isolation I didn't have. I didn't experience this iso isolation in a new country. And I loved Canada. I loved Toronto. Even though when I came, I thought Toronto was backwards in everything, in the arts, in the theater, in the fashion, in everything, even in uh, the drinking. I found when I came Toronto fashionable and I think that was that's why I was so successful because when I came here I was ahead in fashion so I introduced what I knew. People appreciated because they saw something that was beautiful. Now if you have um, one piece of advice to offer what would you say to them today? I would say not to be afraid. I would say um, 
make sure that you have what it takes if you feel you're creative and you have the knowledge of that you feel it in your inner self then you should be afraid and you should do you should go after what you want to do creativity is the most incredible thing that one has you find it in yourself with everything in your surroundings and in your in your life so it's something that you should hold dear thank you for being here today thank you